A COVID-19 survivor in Marlin says a local Dollar Tree is discriminating against her. She claims she was told she couldn't shop there because she tested positive for the virus, even though she has fully recovered. Six News reporter Cole Johnson explains. Myra Perez is a COVID-19 survivor living in Marlin. She says she was diagnosed on April 27th. Marlin is a small town and Myra decided to post about her diagnosis on a community Facebook page. And so I just kind of wanted to make them aware of where we went before we knew we were contagious and to let them know that we would be self-isolating until we really recovered. Myra says her doctor told her she could go out again on Wednesday, May 6th, but with a mask for her protection and others and continuing to social distance. She and her husband decided to wait a little longer to be safe. Sunday the 10th, she made a few stops, including one at the Dollar Tree in Marlin. It was when I left that, you know, things got ugly. Myra says after leaving, a Dollar Tree manager commented on one of her Facebook posts, saying she wasn't allowed to shop at the store until all of this is over. I get upset at first. Um, I understood that her concern was coming from a place of fear and honestly ignorant. Myra commented back and called the store to clarify her situation. But Myra says the manager told her Dollar Tree has a policy that anyone who's tested positive for COVID-19 isn't allowed in the store. Myra says the manager said they are making it apply to employees and community members. Please understand that we're cleared, we're recovered, and if I need to go to the store to get anything, I will go. And then that's when she threatened to call um, the police. After calling the store multiple times, Six News was told the store wasn't able to speak with the media. We left messages with corporate but have not heard back. We went online to the store's coronavirus response page. There was no mention of any policy when it comes to customers. There are health screenings for the associates. Myra says she asked how the store was able to track those in the community who are positive and was told that since she put her information out there, that's how the store knows. There's no need to discriminate against anyone or try to prohibit someone from shopping somewhere because you're afraid. And that was Cole Johnson for us.